Greetings fellow producers. Welcome back to another amazing chapter of the official Jada tutorials. This time I want to talk about looping. How the main sequencer works and what you can do with it. Are you ready? Let's go. I've prepared a couple of channels, both with samples and MIDI events, as seen in the previous tutorial number one. Nothing fancy here, I guess. By looping. I mean using Jada as a traditional loop machine, where many samples and MIDI events play in loop, continuously. In Jada, the so-called sequencer is used to loop things. Its main task is to start, stop and synchronize channels, samples and MIDI events. You operate the sequencer, with the two buttons here, on the top left corner. The start and stop button and the rewind button, respectively. Before firing the whole thing up, let me remind you what items you can loop in Jada. They are MIDI channels, and sample channels, whose mode is set to any of the loop modes available. Please, take a look at my related tutorials to know more. Well, enough talk. Let me prepare the channels first. Then let's switch on the sequencer. Channels are blinking which means they are waiting for the sequencer to start. Cool, isn't it? With the other button I reset the sequencer to the first beat. You can use it also while the sequencer is running. Let me show how. My performance sucks, because I'm using the mouse and a high latency configuration. But I guess you got the point. Finally, let's take a look at the other useful tools available. This is the BPM controller. It's used to set the speed of your performance. This one defines the number of beats and bars of the sequencer. In particular, bars are useful for some advanced loop modes. Take a look at my other tutorials to dig it deeper. The sequencer now has a wider range of loop. Now, suppose you have recorded some actions on the first four beats, and you want to expand the sequencer range. Sometimes it's useful to duplicate those actions also in the new area. This checkbox does exactly that. Don't worry, we will cover the concept of action in the next tutorial. To conclude our tour, let me show you how the beats operators buttons work. They shrink or expand the range of the sequencer. Think of them as beat multipliers or divisors. They works great also when the sequencer is running. Finally the metronome, a classic tool that should not miss in your toolbox. Great, we have covered almost everything about looping in Jada. Get ready for the next episode, where we will play with the powerful action editor. Thanks for watching, and have fun with Jada, your hardcore loop machine.